Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Sunday base almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, Jordan Balazovic. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. So dominant in his last start. Double digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches the way he did last time out. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So up next, J.P. Crawford. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Got him. And there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Next pitch has popped up. Balazovic moving under it and makes the grab. That is the inning. Bottom of the first. Starting on the mound in this one, Chris Flexen. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake. Oh, diving stop. Throw to first, and it beats him. What a play. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Statcast assemble. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Man, those are the types of hits good. where you don't feel That's any vibration job. in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Flexen. He's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially... He dives, but he can't make the catch. Goes to second, and safe there. No play, that's an infield single. Back-to-back -back base hits. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all, he couldn't pick it clean. Runners on the move. Strike in there. Throw to third, too late. Save, double steal. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. Wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Zips it across, and the first run of the game comes across. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. And next for Minnesota, Joe Maurer. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Winker fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Paul Molitor at the plate now as he chases after that one. On the ground, out to short. In plenty of time to first. Gets him easily, ends the... Welcome back. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty, and that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the second. This is Kyle Lewis. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. The other way. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Ball to strike. And now one and two. Swing and a miss. 
And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Late with the swing there. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. One. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Flexen back to work. Base hit, center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Up the middle, on to France. That's one out the bottom of the second. So digging in, Nick Gordon. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Runner takes off, pitch outside. Go, save! Rip to third and caught. So two down now, and here is Byron Buxton. This guy has turned into a beast. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. Picks himself up in RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Move over to first. Try to keep him close. Now here is Rod Carew. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Left hand batter waits. That one the other way. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3 0. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now the DH, Jared Kellner. That pitch in for a strike. Strike one. Outside corner, there's a strike. And down on strikes, one away. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The pitch. In the air to left, down the line. Mordeaux makes his way towards it. Automatic double now as it hops the wall and foul ground. Here's Adam Frazier in there for strike one. Torrens over at second, one down. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Takes it in for the out. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Righty to the plate. Fouled off. He was late. Runner at second. Two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And now, Carlos Correa. Flexen back to work. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Into the outfield, base hit. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Stepping in, Joe Maurer. 
Fought off foul. And it goes just foul. Oh, and two now. Base hit, one run is in. Now two runs score. It's five nothing. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So man aboard, Paul Molitor digs in now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. That's ripped. Base hit. Frazier relayed a second, but he's in there easily. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit? The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Bounce to third. Fires across the diamond, and Polanco is out. So up next, Justin Mordo. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. Ripped on a line to center. Lewis settles under it and makes the catch. Both runners tagging. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's six nothing. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Ripped on a line. Lewis makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jesse Winker. That's in for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Correa makes the catch, and there's one down. Mitch. Hanniger stands in now and watches strike one. Lifted in the air right center field. And there's two away. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Lewis. And that's in there for strike one. Left field, Mordon in position, makes the grab, and that ends the inning. To the Bottom four, here's Byron Buxton. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle, and it gets by him. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And the batter now, Rod Carew. Lined in the left center, base hit. Throws to second, not in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And here comes Carlos Correa. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Ball outside, go to third, save, double steal. The 1-0. Just a slow ground ball this time. To the plate, save! It's seven to nothing. So they're at the corners now. Harmon Killebrew will hit next. Out to short. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. Double steal. 
Ball misses. Throw to third. Too late. Save. Double steal. And a ground ball to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And now for the Twins, Paul Molitor. On the ground to the left. And he grabs it in foul ground. You'll one puts it in the air out towards left center Winker drifts towards it squeezes it runner tags for home throw is low and he can't pick it he'll score the sack fly it's 10 nothing new pitcher for the Mariners Andres Munoz he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty oh he's having an excellent season so far ERA is under two a lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen Lewis on the move to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Ty France. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Kicks and deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And a foul ball. Foul ball. Next offering is foul back. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Going two now. Got him looking. Two out. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series. And we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. Kelnick batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. Going two now. Right through there, got him. The big right, he strikes out the side. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a big power threat. Justin Mordeaux. The left fielder. And a pitch. Back up the middle and a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. In there safely. Back-to-back -back singles. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. This to third, and it gets by him. The throw in, and he's in safely at third as a run scores. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple, and then that error allows a run to score, and... This is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. Oh, great stop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. Two on with one out. Now Correa up to hit. Up the middle, base hit, one run in already. Another scores. 
two runs in on the play, and the lead continues to grow. So they turn things over to the righty, Drew Steckenrider. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And at first, Joe Mauer, the next twin up to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And the throws offline, safe at third. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now at the plate, Paul Molitor, one for two. And there's a foul ball. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Two outs, two in scoring position. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Lewis racing over to make the catch. Five innings complete. Twins are out in front, third. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Luis Torrens. Leading off with the Mariners, the catcher. In for a strike, going to one. All one's the count. Next offering is fouled back. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Adam Frazier getting ready to hit. The second baseman. Adam. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Now it's going to be J.P. Crawford. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Got him. That's out number three. Seven, eight, nine, due up in the home half of the inning. The Twins in front, third to nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Jorge Polanco. The second baseman, Jorge Polanco. The pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. He can't get there. It's a base hit. All over that one right there. He put a great. Now no left Just no, no. At the play, Justin Mordo. That one fouled off. Polanco gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, there's one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Man at first, Nick Gordon. The next twin up to hit. 
Fielder. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Winker makes the catch. Two down. Here is Byron Buxton. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Line drive, caught! One left. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Drew Strotman. And he's... Got a nice lead to work with. Tory Hunter now in the game as he comes in as a new right fielder. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the pitch. And there's the strike. But why to kick the pitch? Stays alive. And he'll two. Up the middle. Tosses the first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. In there for strike one. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Onto the warning track, and he hauls it in. That was an impressive run and catch out there, Chris. And StatCast tells us he covered well over 100 feet to make that grab. Clearly, that was not an easy play. I mean, he took a great angle to the ball and just had enough closing speed in the tank after that long run to make the catch. It was a wild ride, but a lot of fun to watch. And it's fouled away. And he deals. You no, know, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just... Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Mariners are down in... Bottom of the seventh. Now here is Rod Carew. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. No he did everything right right there. Nothing sure to show stuff. for it. But Come in on. your mind, you have to convince oh, yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Next to hit, Carlos Correa. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and one now. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Lewis under it. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Next is the speedy first baseman, Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Out to short, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now Joe Mauer puts the squeeze on that one. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. 
Stratman back to work. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Killebrew. First out in the top of the eighth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Foul ball there. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight. Eric Swanson will take over here. Paul Molitor now at the plate. The pitch. Line drive to short and caught. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Activity in the bullpen. Diego Castillo getting loose out there. Into center. Lewis sizes this one up. Diving. Gets down. Could be extra bases. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Justin Morneau, the next to hit. And what a two-way player. Not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Rudder breaks for third. Pitch is high, throw to third, save. That wasn't close. Wow, these guys are merciless. I'd say a questionable decision to steal third right there with the big lead. Probably won't be received well in the other dugout. That one drilled left field. And that should be extra bases. The run scores from third. It's 14-0. And he's got an RBI triple. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. On the ground to short. Throws to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And now Byron Buxton. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Line drive, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And now it's going to be Rod Carew. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. On a line, out towards center. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Ninth inning coming up. Minnesota leads the... Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the Mariners catcher, Luis Torrens. That's a strike. All ones the count. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a pop up. Polanco on the move, and it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind. There's one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Two outs, space is empty. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. And he grounds one back up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning going.
Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's Jesse Winker. High fly ball out into left center field. And that'll wrap it up. The Twins slug their way to a win in this one. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. This one ends 15.